Okay, hi there. This is just a short video to um, provide a little help to get started to update your profile on the UK NABES GitHub site. I'm going to go over direct editing of the, um, the, the framework that Dave set up, and uh, these are the steps we're going to go through. I'm going to go through them quickly, so you can pause the video if you want to grab the URLs. Um, so we're just going to start. The first thing you want to do is to uh, go to the, the GitHub site where the files live that you need to, uh, to add to. I've also put up the URL here for the, um, for the website itself, which you'll want to have a look at to, uh, to test. Let's just take a peek at that real quick. This is the um, UK NABES website, and we can go to the People tab over here, and we can see a couple of people here. I've already added mine. Uh, and Marks and Nick's. Okay, so um, the one for the the GitHub repository is here, and you'll be looking something like this. Okay, so here we are. The first thing you want to do is to go to the People folder. It's underscore People, and uh, click uh, into that, and you'll find the template.md. Now the template is what you're going to base. Your, uh, your own uh, profile on, and you're just going to copy raw on the menu on the upper right. So I'm just going to demonstrate that. We're going to go to the people folder. I'll just make this a bit bigger for everybody. And um, we'll find the template file. It's down at the bottom. Now uh, this is a somewhat, um, somewhat um, digested view. If we just click on code over here, you can see what's in this. It's just a plain text file that's got a couple of fields. I'm just going to, to select that so you can see the entirety of the text. You can click the copy button and uh, we should have gotten a, yeah, we do get a little pop-up that said it copied successfully. So this is what you want to copy, okay? So we've done that and we're going to now Go back to the people folder and create new file. Up here there's a little drop down menu that says add file, create new file. You're going to make a new file that um, is yourname.md and uh, we're going to rename the, the file and paste the contents of, of that uh, template file in. So we're going to go back to the people folder. We're going to go up here to add file and go create new file. Now uh, maybe I'll just go back one step before I do that and point out that the you know maybe we want to stick to the the um, format and the style of the naming of these files so it's uh, first and last name all lowercase dot MD I decided that I am going to take the liberty of um, making a a new file for my friend Andrew so I noticed that Andrew hasn't made one so I'm going to make one called um, andrewmead.markdown and I'm just going to click into the content area and paste. Okay, and so I just get a paste of that, um, that, uh, that information that I did. So you can change this. Now I've prepared a little bit of um, information for Andrew. This is stuff that I'll put in for him and if if he wants to change it later, it will be easy to do so. I, I got this stuff from um, Andrew's profile page on Rothamsted, including his picture. Okay, so I'm just going to um, type in the name. I'm going to put in an abbreviated name. Put in AM. Uh, the website URL that I have is Andrew's URL for Rothamsted, and um, I've also prepared now, uh, this is a little thing that I noticed, I, I copied that and it's put in a formatted version of the URL, but we, we don't want that formatting, so don't do what I did, we just want the plain um, uh, address for, the, for any profile page you may have, I believe this is probably optional too. Then we need the name of an image. Um, said it can be PNG or JPEG. Now I noticed that um, 
all of the images that Dave had uploaded were were JPEGs, and they they had the long form, maybe the Mac form of JPEG, JPEG, as opposed to the window dot JPG. Um, so I, what I have done with uh, with Andrews is I have um, downloaded a, a version of it that is like this. So I've named it am.jpg. We're going to try it with a short Windows version. Okay. So um, let's put it in there. am.jpg. And then we need to put um, some text down here. So I've just uh, lifted verbatim a uh, this bit that I've selected from Andrews Rothamsted page and I've added his title. He's the head of statistics at Rothamsted. So I added that to the paragraph as a placeholder. So I've pasted that in. Um, we'll go ahead and soft wrap that so that we can we can see the text we've input. So um, I like that. I'm going to commit the changes. We can just leave that I've created Andrew and I'm going to commit directly. We're making a mistake here now. Most kinds of mistakes are um, easily solved. You, you can delete a file if you've done something wrong and you can't save it by editing. Um, the only other thing we need to do now is um, finish our, our um, bits. Now this is a little bit of text that I added. This is what I did for mine, but I just demonstrated adding it for Andrew. Now we need to add the picture. Uh, into the um, into the site. The way we do that is go up to add a file. We're going to upload a file now. And we can just drag it in there. So I'm just going to make a little space here and I'm going to drag Andrew over in there. Now GitHub can have Andrew. And if I go back to my, my slides, that's my last slide. So the only thing left to do is to uh, go down and commit the changes for the file we just uploaded, the picture file. And I'm just going to click back into the people folder. See that it worked. And I've got um, Andrew's picture. I've got Andrew Mead. I'm just going to click on Andrew's file, am.jpg, am.jpg. Everything looks pretty good. The last thing that you want to do is to test and see if it worked. We should see Andrew up at the top. I notice that he's um, list alphabetically, so if we just force a reload, we can see Andrew. Now, here's the thing I noticed that um, I did a little bit of experiments, not extensively, with my own. Ah, there we go. So I had to reload uh, twice to get Andrew's picture loading. So everything seems pretty good with that. That's all you need to know. I hope that's helpful.